the Auburn Tigers entering Legion Field in Birmingham neutral site for the annual confrontation between Auburn and Alabama and here come the Crimson Tide of Alabama one against Nebraska in the Sugar Bowl freshman Robert McGinty of Auburn to kick off Alabama won the toss Alabama to receive on a gorgeous 60 degree afternoon and it's a line drive pick on a hot field at the four yard line by Cedric Vaughn out past the 20 and up ended at the 32 yard line and for the Crimson Tide from the 33 yard line Carruth big hole past the 45 to the 48 yard line Paul Ott Carruth is their leading Left of the show offensively, they have been inconsistent. Only 36 percent, as you saw, third down and five with Carruth going in motion and Shula handing the ball to Moore. And again, they're stopped on the third down play as Ricky is bunched up at the 45 yard line. Gerald Williams among those in on the stop on the bench as the offense works with a second down and nine. And Washington goes to the air, looks one way, throws the other, has a man open, and has a first down to Ron Middleton, the backup tight end, who takes it out to the down of the wishbone from the 43-yard line. Jackson has yet to carry the ball, and now he gets it. Out past the 45 to the 47. Just shy of the first down, Cornelius Bennett making the tackle. And his coach would certainly know about Lawrence Taylor, having coached the New York Giants. To the 49-yard line goes Jackson, enough for a first down as Wayne Davis, sophomore linebacker number 58 for Alabama for most of the second half of the season. Back to pass on first and 15, and throws complete to the 44-yard line to Clayton Buford. Well, Alabama is having a good deal of difficulty converting on third down, not necessarily so for Auburn on third and three. And the pass is complete for a first down to the 28-yard line to Trey Gaines. Cutting in over the middle. 16 on that last pickup. An impressive drive that started at the 20-yard line. Pitch it to Jackson. He turns the corner. Inside the 20 goes low to the 15-yard line. <laughs> From the 15-yard line, it's Jackson. Inside the 5 to the 4-yard line. Jackson, the right half back in this set. He takes the toss, and Jackson goes in for the score. And the Auburn Tigers go down the field 80 yards on their first drive and break out on top. Jeff Lott and Randy Stokes in the middle, leading the way that time. Freshman Robert McGinty attempting the extra point. He's made 30 of 31. And make it 31 of 32. The die came in. Alabama had one nine straight. Now they've turned it around, winning the last two as he sneaks to Shula for the first down. Second down and nine from the 43 yard line. Shula back. Good protection. There's one over the middle, complete for a first down to Preston Gothard. Tight end ran a little delay. He was wide. First down for the tie from the 45 yard line. Moore picks up about seven. Ricky Moore is a senior. He's been their leading ground gainer, but this year he is really still to get on track. Second down and seven. Second down and three as Moore takes it inside the 35 to the 29 yard line. And Joe Nemeth, new husband. Second down and 11. And a little hole opens up for Moore. He exploits it as he takes it down to the 16-yard line. Kevin Green making the tackle. And this is the type of first and 10 from the 16 on what should be the last play of the period. And Carruth is able to move down to the 10-yard line. So Alabama, very impressively going 80 yards. Alabama's had it the rest of the time. And they try to culminate it here with first and goal from the six. Puts it to Carruth as Moore throws the block, and Carruth scores the touchdown. <laughs> Alabama, last year the scoringest team in the Southeastern Conduct. Great effort by Paul Ott Carruth. Van Tiffin to attempt the point after. That's good. 
So each team has moved from its own 20, 80 yards for a touch, and it's 7 30 in the second. Campbell goes in motion. He takes the pitch and gets it out to the 36 yard line. Freddie Rock. <laughs> Third down and three now from the 42 yard line. This is Fullwood carrying. And he is bunched up at the 45-yard line by Cornelius Bennett, number 97, the linebacker. Talked about him earlier. We have him isolated with Carruth going in motion. Quarterback draw, and that didn't fool anybody. As Shula is stopped back at the 10-yard line by Ben Thomas, and <laughs> third down and 10 from the 20-yard line. Jackson stopped at the 21. And so the Alabama defense picks right up in the third quarter where they left off in the second. America, they lost him three weeks ago. So they're shaking back there. Shula has room. Gets out past the 40 to 45. And turns it into a nice gain and a first down to the 47-yard line. He's run out of. Shula off two play fakes. Good protection. To number 17, Greg Richardson, who was in motion on the play for another first down. And they substitute with great frequency. They opened up a big hole here for Peru. Inside the 15, the 10, and he takes it to the four yard line. Arthur Johnson making the tackle. So the Alabama partisans are on their feet, the five yard line. Peru again, touchdown. The Crimson Tide come out and they just take it to the Auburn defense to start the second half. And Alabama leads 13 to 7. Eighth rushing touchdown of the season for number 16, Paul Ott of the year rushing. Van Teffen's point after is good. And so Alabama, a one touchdown underdog, has the lead with 11.51 to play in the third quarter. Crimson Tide on top, 14 to 7. It could turn the, uh, the game around for him. Third and one. The money man is Jackson, and he is out to just about the strike, the 25-yard line. Whether that's good enough for a first down or not, they may have to measure. Holman by about a 5 to 4 ratio. First down. Pitch it to Carruth and a gain of three as he takes it to the 43-yard line and it's Harold Holman again in on the tackle with Jonathan Ryan. Shula, good protection, man open, first down as Richardson takes it into Auburn territory. He beat Jonathan Robinson on the play and Alabama, they couldn't maintain or regain possession of it, third and 13. Shula drops it over the middle. It's complete, but stopped shy of the first down is Preston Gothard. He was wrestled down by Greg Carr. It's against Penn State. And he's 14 of 19. He is one of three for more than 50. The kick is up, and the kick is good. From the 37-yard line. Kyle Collins. Takes it out to the 40-yard line. 25 left in the game. Pretty critical play here for Auburn. As Washington pitches at the last minute, they get the first down, and it's Fullwood who gets out in front. Fullwood inside the 20, the 10, all the way for the touchdown. play on which they were looking for the win. That's why they took the timeout. So they go for two, and it's Washington pitching it, and they get the two points because Jackson gets into the corner. So it's 17 to 15, and they set up what... Shula with straight drop back protection here, moves forward in his pocket, looking for his fullback, Ricky Moore, has the ball momentarily, bobbles it, it's picked off by Kevin Green, the defensive end, number 90, and now Auburn has opportunity. Is leading by only two, Jim, but 
It's third down and 11 upcoming for Auburn after that timeout. Ball at the 18-yard line. Pat Washington, the quarterback, out of the wishbone. It is Jackson breaking it inside the 10, down to the 4. And how many teams on third and 11 are going to run? But when you have Bo Jackson... Now he's now replaced Cornelius Bennett. Third down and goal, 425 remaining in the game from the 10-yard line. Washington keeps it and gets to the one-yard line. So now it's fourth and goal, and Pat Dye has to make the decision. Do you go for... And Dye has elected to go for it, to go for the touchdown. So the critical play of the game right here. On fourth down and goal, it's Fullwood, and he is stopped. And will they talk about that play for years? With 3.27 to go in the game, Rory Turner ran him out of bounds, and that will be forever ingrained in the lore of this rivalry. If this final score doesn't change, they'll be talking about that from now to the year 2020. Alabama split backs, Peruk and Moore, and Shula's going to throw. On third and three, incomplete. He attempted to hit Preston Gothard, the tight end. Washington, and down he goes. Third down and 15. Back to throw over the middle, completes it to Fullwood. He gets over the 50, takes it to the 49, and you've got fourth and two coming up. Wade and are both split to the right, and Gainis is sent to the left. Washington gets good protection. Looks Gainis is right, has him. He gets out of bounds at the 25, and all of a sudden, they're back in field goal range at an angle. Snap is good. The kick is long enough, but it's wide. One to be discussed and discussed over and over and over for a long time in the state of Alabama. The Crimson Tide has won it. Alabama finishes five and six. Auburn goes eight and four. They'll play Arkansas in the Liberty Bowl. LSU, Nebraska to the Sugar Bowl.